One of the most vital components in your car is the powertrain control module, PCM. The PCM has the responsibility to control the various parts and sensors of the engine. It ensures the proper supply of coolant, engine oil, and air fuel mixture. This video deeply explains PCM function, symptoms, and causes. The PCM is known as the brain of the vehicle. It is also known as the engine control module, ECM. It is a self-propelled control system installed in your car. The main function of the PCM is to collect data from different parts and sensors of your vehicle engine. After collecting the data, it uses data to produce the desired power and efficiency of the vehicle by controlling the engine's fuel and spark ignition. It works efficiently when there is a proper flow of information from the PCM to the sensors and the sensors to the PCM. It controls about 100 plus functions of your vehicle. A car has several hundred trouble codes, and every single of them indicates a problem in a specific part of the car. Symptoms of a bad PCM Usually, the PCM is designed to last in your car for a lifetime, but several different causes make it faulty. As the powertrain control module goes bad, it generates different symptoms. 1. Check engine light the check engine light is one of the major symptoms of a bad PCM or ECM. However, this light may illuminate due to many other problems in your car. For example, issues with wiring, MAP sensor, IAT sensor, or engine overheating may also trigger a check engine light. The best way to check whether it's a bad PCM or not is to use an OBD2 scanner to scan the trouble codes and find the issues. 2. Reduced Engine Performance The bad performance of your car's engine can be the reason for a bad powertrain control module. As the powertrain control module goes bad, it doesn't properly control the fuel delivery and the spark timing. When the fuel and spark timing are disturbed, this results in poor engine performance. 3. Issue in Shifting Gears a problem in gear shifting is also one of the common symptoms of PCM failure. The PCM controls the functions of the transmission system and the engine of your car. Thus, the issues with the powertrain control module will indirectly be the issues with your car's transmission system. 4. Issues in starting It is the job of the powertrain control module to ensure that every component it controls is working properly. The ignition timing is one of these tasks. When the timing is off, the spark plug doesn't ignite the air-fuel mixture. So, with a bad PCM, you will find it hard to start your vehicle. Furthermore, starting your car in cold weather becomes even more difficult. 5. Misfires If your car often backfires or misfires, then it needs a proper checkup by a professional. In the service centers, the professional will find the trouble codes and will let you know the exact issue with your car. However, misfires or backfires most commonly occur due to bad fuel supply or bad ignition in the combustion chamber. 6. Failed Emission Test A healthy powertrain control module ensures the minimum emission of exhaust gases and improves engine performance. However, when the PCM goes bad, it doesn't control the emission efficiently and increases the emission rate. In such conditions, your car performance will be reduced. 7. Poor Fuel Economy A reduction in fuel economy is often a sign of a bad PCM. When the powertrain control module goes bad, your car couldn't be able to detect exactly how much fuel it has to burn in the combustion procedure. Usually, cars with a bad powertrain control module consume more fuel than cars with a properly functioning powertrain control module. 8. Code Errors Related to PCM The bad PCM-related trouble code is the most common symptom. 
A trouble code is created in your car's computer whenever a car faces an issue. Use a proper OBD2 scanner to read the code. If the code is related to the PCM, then you are lucky that you detected the proper issue at once. Causes of a bad PCM Poor quality control during the manufacturing process can result in a faulty PCM. This can cause internal issues such as a broken circuit or a malfunctioning component. Exposure to extreme temperatures, moisture, and vibrations can cause damage to the PCM, leading to poor performance or complete failure. Outdated or corrupted software can cause the PCM to function improperly. This can often be resolved by updating the software or reflashing the PCM. Accidents, collisions, or other forms of physical damage can lead to a damaged PCM. This can cause broken circuits, damaged components, or a complete failure of the module. Over time, the components within the PCM can degrade, leading to poor performance or failure. This is often due to normal wear and tear, but can be accelerated by the factors mentioned above. Voltage spikes or surges, usually caused by a faulty alternator, wiring issues, or jump-starting the vehicle incorrectly, can damage the PCM. This can result in burnt or damaged circuits, leading to a bad PCM.